Hello and welcome to Figmart, the YouTube channel dedicated to designing in Figma. Whether you're a seasoned designer or just starting, this channel is the perfect place to learn new skills, get inspired, and connect with other designers. In this video, I'll show you how to design a simple and sleek login screen using Figma. We'll go through the process step by step, from creating the background to adding input fields and buttons. By the end, you'll have a fully functional and visually appealing login screen that you can use in your web or app designs. First, we create a frame. We give it our dark background. We write welcome and then sign in and set its size to 26. Underneath it, we write the word administration. We try to align these three words together. Here, we want to create a tab for logging in as an administrator and for recovery. We make the color of the word administrator slightly darker to make it look better. For recovery, we choose a dark color close to the background. Now we want to design the data entry box. First, we write its text and try to make it the same color as administration. To create an input box, after writing the placeholder text inside it and selecting a dark color for it, we auto lay out these two items by pressing Shift plus A. We give it a padding of 16 pixels from the left and right, and 8 pixels from top to bottom. We round the corners with 4 pixels. We give it a white background color. We put the icon related to the user that we have already prepared inside the input box by selecting the input box and pressing Kral plus V. We drag the input box a bit to make it look better. We select the title text and the box and auto lay out them and set the distance between them to 8 pixels. We make a copy of the created design and change its content. We change the content to password and we type 12 stars in the password placeholder section. We replace the lock icon with the Kiktral plus shift Batswar keys in its place. Now let's create the sign in button. We bring the sign in icon to the front. Now we want to give the button we created a background gradient from orange to reddish color. We adjust the gradient handles and select the color box with the eyedropper button to help us. Remember, the art of visual design is within your grasp, so keep creating, experimenting, and pushing the boundaries of your creativity. We put the icons in the frame. Underneath these icons, we write the text related to logging in, integrated windows, authentication. We reduce its width a bit to make it fit in two lines and look better. We center the text. We make a copy of the text for the icon on the right and change its content. We insert our background image. We want to put some text and icons on it. To make our text more readable and our background look better, we will add a black layer as a gradient later. For now, we write our desired text on it. We type the first word and adjust its font size and color to make it look better. We type Active Directory Forest Recovery. We reduce the width of the text a bit to make it fit in two lines. The font size and color seem appropriate. We type the subtitle. To give a dark to light appearance to the background from bottom to top, we select the image and click on the plus option across from fill to create a new color layer. We set its value to 100%. We click on the icon color 
we go to the top tab and enter the gradient. We adjust the gradient handles as you see fit, from 100% dark at the bottom of the image to 0% transparent at the top of the image. We put a handle in the middle, tilted downwards with a 50% opacity. As you can see, it blends in. Now, we try to put the Sempris icon in the bottom corner of the image. As you can see, it is easily visible because we have darkened the background a bit. Now, we put a copyright text under this logo, 2024, all rights reserved. Now, we go to the right side of the image and write some texts about the software version that the user is going to log into. After writing the text, we align them to the right. We give them a font size of 16 for the top number and 14 for the bottom number. Now, we want to design a logo above the word active from scratch. To do this, we draw a triangle 100 pixels wide. We make a copy of this triangle and set its width to half of the previous triangle. For this, we give it 50 pixels. We darken its color and place the small triangle in the center of the large triangle. We want to create an upward-facing view of an arrow inside this triangle. So we draw a rectangle in the middle and at the bottom of this triangle so that we can merge it with the black triangle we drew above. Now, let's color our logo. We adjust the gradient handles from the bottom left corner to the middle, right and top. We select our left color and give it a red color and we also select our right handle and give it a red color. This is the view that we get. We easily designed a logo inside Figma. Now we come to some general settings to make the things we designed look appropriate in terms of size. We select the logo and the text Active Directory and its subtitle together so that they look appropriate in terms of size. We auto lay out them and adjust the distance between them. We also select other items that we designed together and auto lay out them. We center them with respect to the background image to find the best appearance. We select all three items that we designed plus the background image and convert them to one item by clicking on the group selection option. Now we go to the background of our inputs and sign in button and adjust its width and make it smaller. We select the left image, which has become an item, and the right frame, and by clicking on the Auto Layout button, we put them inside a frame. We have to put the contents we designed in the right place. For this reason, we select them one by one and try to place them in the right place to find the best appearance. We sort all options from left to right. Of course, it's a bit messy, but we'll sort them out later. We fix its width at 570 pixels. We select the items and place them in the center of the frame. We raise the amount of items a bit. We put the recovery button in its place and auto layout it so that it doesn't mess up again. We also select two different input icons and place them 32 pixels apart and place them under the above options. Now that separator line looks better. Now we want to check what details might be wrong and sort them out. We adjust the line that protrudes from the right. Very well. Our design is almost complete. And with this ease, we were able to design a sign-in page with the user interface you saw in a short time. We also place the browser header in its place at the top of the page and adjust its width so that the design we did is displayed in the browser you can see an overview of the design page. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more educational content on design in Figma. Remember, the art of visual design is within your grasp, so keep creating, experimenting, and pushing the boundaries of your creativity. If you have any thoughts, questions, or ideas about the video, please leave a comment down below. I read every comment and will do my best to respond. Until next time, happy designing.